Hello everyone! Welcome back to me and myself and I playing a daily run. This looks like Lazarus. Lazarus starts with a life. What do we do with the life? We use it up. Is this... It's not an Excel floor. We can afford to do... Uh, hello. This. Uh, so this is a difficulty. As Lazarus you do want to use up your life. Uh, but you kind of want to do it in a productive way. So... Maybe we should not take that black heart just yet. We should take it after we fucking die. After we have respawned, as whatever Lazarus is called when he's respawned. Uh, I'd like to not pick that up entirely possible as well. Um, trouble is when? When do you pull the trigger? It's like the, uh, the self-sacrifice room thing, Magic. It's truth. <laughs> These things are everywhere. When do you decide it is time to die? No, Mr. Bond. Yeah, I thought we were going to end up picking that one up on the way back into that room. Which makes it a lot more difficult because we can't just kill ourselves, you know, willy-nilly. And we are going to... That looks like the Polaroid, so I suspect this is a Blue Baby run. Which means there's no point doing the self-sacrifice room. So what exactly can we spend our HP on, I guess is the question. We do have the Relic. Now the Relic will produce a lot of spirit hearts for us over time. Just, uh, I think every four rooms one drops, which is a really, really good item. Uh, except... <laughs> except, we need to sort of decide... Oh, we'll probably die here anyway, so that's fine. <laughs> Ragman is such a pain in the arse at this stage of the game. Fuck me. You see that? I genuinely think there's no way to avoid that. And when there's no way to avoid it, I'm, I feel legit I can call bullshit. You know, we have to be as far enough away from Ragman as it takes to be able to avoid the full extent of his stupid bullshit motherfucking crap ass shit face homing bullshit. No. I'm very upset. This thing needs to not be in the game. There we go. Uh, I'm not worried about taking damage against Ragman, which is why I'm being a lot more aggressive about it than. Oh, fuck, how many of these things do you want? Than I normally would be. Because there is a black heart back in the curse room, which we could go for, and there's a spirit heart not in the curse room, which we can get, so I think possibly killing ourselves on this floor, ugh, it could be very premature, unfortunately, because the, the obvious way of doing it is to take deals with the devil on the next floor. Then you have to wait till the next floor, and you lose all the benefits of all the spirit hearts and things that you get from this floor. Ah, you can do that sort of roundabout thing there, so that's reasonably decent. Wow. I can't talk about one fight for as long as it takes to do this one fight. I'm sorry. So, um, just talk amongst yourselves for a while, I suppose. Ragman is going to be... He's finally dead. <laughs> We've got HP, which is kind of the opposite of what I wanted, but okie dokie. So the first deal with the devil is always on the next floor. There's never a deal with the devil on the first floor. So we can't sell our HP. This is taking forever. There we go. And that's a decent, um... Look, I'm just going to take everything. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's open this. Wow, we're fast. We're very fast all of a sudden. Roy Drage does that to you. And we'll find a secret room. Uh, I was going to say we shouldn't pick this up, but at the same time, we absolutely should. Because there's points in it. But I won't go back to the curse room and get the black heart, is what I'm thinking here. Uh, there are no points in this, so I'll just leave. That was bad damage. Um, but again, I'm not, I'm not thinking about damage at this stage. I'm thinking about, let's leave. Second secret room? Second secret room? If this is a second secret room, then that was a misplaced bomb. It's not, so we will leave. Okay. Strats. Mad strats. Take deal with devil. In order to respawn as Dark Lazarus. That is the only... I'll take it. Speed up is pretty decent, but I think any more speed ups at this stage is probably going to do more harm than good, quite frankly. Because it's quite, it's coming quite difficult for me to press the buttons for a short enough amount of time that I can move in the direction I'd like to. Go in here, and we get ten bombs. But we need to spend a bomb to do it, so I will come back to that when we have one. I'm not going to use... Again, the thing about the deal with the devil way of losing the life is it doesn't cost you damage. You don't have to take damage to do it. Nine cents. 
More bombs, please. Whereas, the obvious way of losing that life is just to hurt yourself a lot. And of course, we don't know how much HP we've got. I think we had three, and then two more on top. I think I took a hit, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, well, I took some... Uh, I gave some HP to the Demon Judgment, of course. But that doesn't necessarily count... A, for our damage penalty at the end of the game. But it also doesn't count because... It's the number of Red Heart containers I'm thinking about at this stage. Not the number of Red Hearts in them. And the Demon Judgment always costs Red Hearts. Not... Uh, not the Spirit Hearts, unless you haven't got any, and then blah blah blah. What I'm saying is, we spent Red Hearts on the Demon Judgment. We got Caffeine Pill out of it, which is really exactly what it says it is. Speed up and size down. But we have got an extra pill to try at some point. Um, which means we've still got three Red Hearts and two Spirit Hearts. So hopefully this is an amazing deal. Uh, it's a bit of a shit deal. We'll take it. And then, as Lazarus, you die on the room you're in. So what we'll do is... Uh, sorry, you respawn on the room you died in. It's going to cost us a lot in terms of HP, but that's fine. Uh, uh, that really confused me. I thought our shot height was extremely high. It was multi-dimensional, baby, just confusing the shit out of me. Don't worry about it. We got two of clubs. We got three bombs, which is exactly what I asked for. We got the left hand, which I actually don't want. Why not? Oh, good question. We got one makes you small, so now we're ridiculously small. We got a health upgrade, which is really good. Uh, the left hand turns all um, chests into red chests. This is good too. We spent a lot of time on these two floors, but that's okay. We've got infinite bombs, so we can use them all up like this. Look how fast we are, it's really funny. We'll do that. We'll do that. That's excellent. I'm so glad I did this. So that will guarantee us every single deal with the devil on the entire game that's possible to get. Uh, excuse me, where did my... Oh, it was in here. Of course it is. It was the item in the item room. We've got infinite bombs for this floor. And we're going extremely slowly. I am happy to sacrifice boss rush in order to do hush. Not because I'm happy to do hush ever. Please let it never be said that I'm happy to do hush. But... Ooh. Um... Let's leave. But... It's more valuable to do Hush. We've got the Black Candle. The Black Candle does Curse Immunity, so we can now see how much HP we've got, and we're doing extremely well on that. I might as well take this just in case. I don't really want anything else. We've got two of clubs. We've got Endless Nameless. Endless Nameless, by the way, the trinket that we have. The effect of it is... Ooh, more health. Is whenever you use a card or a pill or something like that, it has a chance of dropping it again. And now I'm thinking about it, this is probably the secret room we didn't have to pay to go into the curse room. That was an excellent shot, I'm so happy. Oh, a two of clubs! Sorry, black card two of clubs, so we'll use the two of clubs now. Ah, oh, wow, this is turning out to be an excellent run, although we've spent a lot of time on it, so maybe we should start skipping floors more quickly. Blank card repeats, it, it, it gives you a free use of the card that you currently have. Every four rooms. So if we can find a super duper good card, I mean two of clubs isn't bad, it's great for points because the consumables I, I think counts your point bonus. Uh, first time I want to not have a thing, but that's okay. Mm, we should open it. Yeah, it's probably worth it. I mean we've got the keys back, so that's beneficial. So we can use any card that we find, or rune, I should add, but not pill, um, for free. So if we find something like the Yera rune, or the Hierophant card, or the Emperor card... The Emperor card maybe not, because we want the point bonus from doing the exploration. Wow, I'm so fast I can't control... <laughs> I can't control uh, my, uh, my Lazarus here. You should always be able to control your Lazarus. It's, 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 it's responsible Lazarus ownership. If you can't control your Lazarus, use the two clubs again. We've now got 46 bombs, which is more than enough for anybody, but we're in it for the points. I'm trying to use multi dimensional baby as much as possible, just because it gives us that, uh, that little bit of an extra bonus to damage. It doubles our shots, and I believe it increases the potency of them as well. Let's open that. It's a guppy item. 
Uh, I think Guppy's head is nice, especially with the hive mind. But since it's one of three Guppy items to become Guppy, I'm going to stick with Blank Card. Because Blank Card could have so many more... Um, so many more beneficial opportunities. Man, I'm finding it really difficult to actually hit anything today. So uh, I suspect... <laughs> I really hope you get some actual damage upgrades at some point, but... Boss rush may not be possible, just based on how slowly we're going right now. In your own time, everything die, please. Good. So yeah, I'm going to leave this guppy item behind. If we didn't have blank card, and therefore a world of possibilities with pressing spacebar, I would absolutely take, um, you know, guppy, guppy's head. Um, with Hive Mind because it gives us much more potent flies. But I have a good feeling about getting the Guppy transformation itself on this run, so we'll go with that. This is probably a secret room based on the fact that it looks like it should be. Uh, raw Liver is a very rare item, although everyone's got it, which is just 2 HP. Very good. Absolutely, perfectly worthwhile in my book. Uh, please <laughs> remember how to fight bonies, it's not hard, you just keep moving. Yeah, he says, obviously continuing to keep moving. We're so fast, though. Keep moving means we miss every single shot that we fire. So a tears upgrade would be excellent. Go in the shop, see what we win. Ah, I would like to be able to get everything here. Mostly I would like to get sack head first. And if we can make sack head work, then I would also extremely much likely... Of clubs. Let's not. I'm just gonna uh, not have any commentary today because words have literally failed me. No. Um, if we can get sack ahead, we, everything. Well, many consumables will be sacks, which is very valuable because then many consumables are many many consumables, right? They multiply. If we can also get contract from uh, humbling bundle, then I believe there's a chance that we get two sacks for everything. Ah, uh, maybe not. I'm not sure about that. I know that Contract from Below causes your rewards to be doubled, and I mean that literally as in every reward comes out twice, including chests. With Humbling Bundle, I think every reward drops as a double item, so that you can get, you know, two cent drops, which are two combined cents. Oh my god. <laughs> Please let me hit! You know what, we've got 87 bombs, what is wrong with me? Let's just do this. Here we go. Game over. I should have thought of that a long time ago. You know, I don't often get the opportunity to... Uh, to, to use bombs offensively. Here's another uh, card that could be great for us. Two of hearts. Uh, not that good for us, I suppose. Q Krampus. Wow, I took two hits. Oh, stop walking into it. The thing about Krampus's shot here is that it does have this annoying habit. Two of clubs. Um, that was a lot of bad damage, by the way. It has this annoying habit of just hitting you twice. If you're still in it, because you haven't paid attention, or you think it's gone away, it can hit you twice. Your invincibility doesn't last long enough. We'll use two of clubs again. Oh my god, help. We picked up the Halo. The Halo is an all stats upgrade. It's a pretty good one. It's a damage upgrade, as I asked for, but also... Um, it's a speed upgrade, so... Which is uh, kind of the opposite of what I asked for. And... It's a shot speed upgrade and a shot... A fire rate upgrade, basically. A tears upgrade. So, it's everything up, which is great. That's what I guess that's what all stats means, uh, now I think about it. I probably should use bombs here too. Get rid of everything. All in a row. Good. I mean, we could use some tiers, but why? I guess. <laughs> we get the points. We lose the points that we would have. that we gained for picking up a bomb when we use a bomb. But we get them back again anyway, so why not use the bombs, right? The devil. That could be better. We've got 96 bombs. I can't imagine being particularly bothered about running out of bombs. And now we've got a... We've basically got a Book of Belial, but it's got a one-room extra charge on it. That's that's pretty good. It also doesn't have the devil thingy, but... Uh, the deal with the devil thingy. But... We've already got deal with the devil thingy because we picked up Goat Head. Maybe I shouldn't have used it when I did use it. Because now I have to dodge around these motherfuckers without that extra damage bonus that we get from the devil card. But whatever. We're doing okay. Uh, I've taken some dumb damage. I always fuck up the Krampus fight. Everyone should know that. I will take Callus because we've got the blank card, meaning we never actually use the item that Endless Nameless assists us with. 
Callus means that we don't take damage from creep or spikes, which is great. I should stop taking damage just in general, but I kind of think why. <laughs> Apart from the damage you know, penalty at the end of the run. I've always got a terrible damage penalty at the end of the run, so it wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be me, would it? So we've got the Devil card back available. Maybe worth using on this room. I will use it on this room whether or not it's worth it. Please, multi-dimensional baby. Thank you. Look at the damage we get when we can actually make that work. It's really, really good. Uh, this is shit, but I'm going to take it. And we can get in here for free, so I'm going to do it. This is two, which rerolls this stuff. We get... Don't really care about any of this. Well, that was very much worth my time. Uh, is it worth a bomb for a nickel? Yes, we have 99 bombs. Thank you. Now we can buy something from here. We don't want anything from here. Let's move on. I know I said I'd go faster. I've basically given up on boss rush. I think it was worth the amount of time we spent to get as, get as much benefit as we did out of the run on the first couple of floors. Because um, this is only... Oh, it's caves too. So if we go extremely fast through the next couple of floors, if it's depths rather than Necropolis, then we're well in. But we haven't done... Um, oh, I didn't get a devil charge. That's annoying. We haven't done the good stuff like finding the secret rooms, for example. That's definitely beneficial. We should definitely use these bombs. Bang. So bang. Oh, I walked into it instead of pressing E. There we go. Please. Yeah. <laughs> it happens. Whatever. Where did these flies come from? We now actually have the actual Book of Belial, which I don't want. Uh, yeah, this is actually really, really good. Uh... Uh, I'm going to do a Mom's Knife practice run again, but I will not take me and my shadow because it's poop. And I won't take the Book of Belial because although we have basically got the Book of Belial with the blank card devil combination, uh, except that the Book of Belial is a bit better because it's a three room charge rather than a four room charge, you can't replace the Book of Belial with something like blank card Dagars, which we just did. I don't think we need the the devil card anymore, frankly. We've got Mom's Knife, which is going to shit on everything. Uh, excuse me. If I can actually you know, use it correctly. There is that. I understand that this is sort of the prerequisite. We've got a Moon card. We've got a Fool card. So these are both teleport cards. But if we can get into anything we want to teleport out of... If we can get into anything we could normally teleport out of, we actually want to do it because it's a daily run. Which would make more sense if you watch anyone but me play this game, because then you would understand that there are, you know, there are things that you would teleport, like normally you would teleport out of boss rush. Excuse me, <laughs> please. Wow, I really confused myself on that one. I'll use Dagars because it gives us a spirit heart. Dagars will purge the curse on the current floor, though we did get Black Candle, so now I think about it, we probably don't need Dagars too much. But we don't need the devil really any more than we any more than that either, so whatever, I guess. This is essentially a five cent spirit heart, so we'll use it. Okay, well, taking some silly damage, and we went completely the wrong way, but we've got blank card Dagars. Dagars is never gonna. <sighs> that was really risky. Blank card Dagars is never gonna help us in terms of composing the curse, I've mentioned. But it will help us in terms of getting all these spirit hearts. To make up for the the HP that we sold to the devil, which was red HP, it wasn't spirit hearts, but it still it left room for spirit hearts. That was really stupid. Okay, that wasn't actually stupid. I'm gonna go out and live and say that was just shit. That was hard. I don't know why that bony was where it was. I don't think that does anything for us. I'm not gonna take. I, I thought I could get past that bony. Is what I'm trying to say here, but I, I couldn't. Also, they're called bonies, which is pretty funny if you're me. And any of the people who tend to watch my content. Do do do, you're dead. Do do, do your. Excuse me, dead. Oh, you made a fucking spider. What a dick. We need to get out of here faster than we're about to. Especially since none of these directions has been the f fucking boss way. Cut the stuff. Leave. Come on, let's get out of here. Here it is. We need to get used to how far the, the knife goes when you do things. It's a really big knife, actually. Well, you're, you're a slow boss. Oh, I don't appreciate this. Oh, fudge. Like, what am I supposed to do? Oh, yeah, infestation. When you get hit, 
spawn flies. So infestation does have a certain amount of value, but it is one of those only valuable if you get hit things, which, as we've talked about in the past, we kind of only a bit like. Uh, I will take both of these, because we have blank card Dagars, which means even though it costs us a lot, we can reasonably easily get back to the HP that we just spent. More of the Void is going to synergize really nicely with Mom's Knife, because they're both the charge-up items. I would very much like to have more mapping, actually. And, of course, it's going to help us get... <sighs> we need to do that, but also we need to not... Look, we can't get to Boss Rush. There's no way. So we'll do this instead. Uh, yeah, I've got X-ray vision, so at least we can find the curse rooms, uh, secret rooms now. I think that Incubus, forgetting that it's pretty shit with Mom's Knife, is even more pretty shit when it's not your first familiar. Now, when it's, when it's the first familiar in the chain, it's pretty easy to control Incubus and put it where you want it to be. Oh, it's kind of alright. It's basically doubling our damage, I think. BFF's Incubus would be better. Okay, we're done. Yeah, half a minute to beat Mom. Not gonna happen without some fucking 99 keys now. Oh, hello. Oh, you can hurt me when I've turned up in the room, but I can't hurt you. That's bullshit, bro. That's fucking B at fucking S, mate. Uh, I'll take this. Two of diamonds. Well, black card two of diamonds seems a little bit better. I guess. We never did pick up, um... Sack head. I now realise I completely forgot to even check whether we could do. When it came to the time to do it. Again, we're not going to do anything with self-sacrifice rooms today. Because we don't need to. We're already going there. Yeah, three seconds too late to find the mom fight. In which case, we might as well get the exploration bonus for this floor. We'll black card two of spades again, uh, two of diamonds again. Two of diamonds, obviously, if, well, maybe not too obviously, but when I say it, it's obvious. It doubles the amount of coins you have, which is actually extremely good. So we basically have all of everything. I don't want the hermit card. We're out of control. There's nothing that can stop us except me. As usual, this is not, you know, Lazarus versus anything. It's it's me. It's Lazarus versus the person playing as Lazarus. Uh, I took it. Mm. I took it because I couldn't be bothered working out whether to take it or not. That was just piss poor. But my justification, my post hoc justification for taking the HP is that we guarantee to deal with the devil. Blank card temperance. Uh, now we've got Fate, so we can fly. Two of Diamonds is probably... Ah, fuck it. We've done all we can with Two of Diamonds, because we now have 99 cents. So let's take Temperance and see if we can get some weird-ass explosion-type synergies out of it. Uh, no. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not entirely convinced I know what that crap die does. But I'm pretty sure it causes re-rolls to happen when you get hit. That sounds weird. Does that not sound weird? That sounds weird. Open these stuff. Like, re-rolls when you get hit? Hmm. I'll take the crab juice. Hello? Probably... Well, it's slightly better, I suppose. It actually increases our rate of fire. I'm not sure how that manifests when you've got Mom's knife, but... Well, we've got it, so... I'm trying to use Incubus instead of me. That's a that's a bit of a strange thing to do. There's another left hand. The game really wants us to. I think uh, basically the reason I've currently got the Cancer Trinket, even though I don't know whether it does anything for us, is because I know that the other one does nothing for us because we can already fly. Oh, we haven't been mummed. Of course we haven't. Just sort of stand here and stab, I guess. Wow. This is a... Uh... This would have been a really fast fight, but we did miss boss rush. I knew we'd miss boss rush, but we can now extremely definitely get to, uh... Hush. Thank you, Brain, for remembering the name of the thing that, you know, you have to do every time. There was, the, I think, the biggest miss out from boss rush, apart from the fact that we lose 4,000 points, um, is the item. There was definitely an item in there. Here's the Temperance. It's what Temperance does, by the way. It spawns one of these. We explode it, because we've got a load of bombs. And see if we get anything out of it. No, we didn't. <laughs> it wasn't even worth the bomb it cost us to see if we got anything out of it. Bit of a shame. Never mind. Now, here's another thing. 
This is an interesting one. Mamma Gurdy, you ain't got shit. Wow, what the hell caused those two things to drop? I'll take them. Uh, do we spend some time exploring this floor? I say yes. Succubus as well. Game, you are extremely doing me very proudly. Do I want this? No. Look, don't get carried away. Ooh, Blank Hard Magician. That could be pretty decent. I mean, it's basically the same thing as... Fucking... <laughs> that was scary. I got a little bit confused. It's basically the same thing as Telepathy for Dummies, but I think it's going to be better than Blank Hard Tempest. I'm keeping hold of this Blank Hard. I really wish that I'd taken Guppy's head. Because... We haven't seen another guppy item, despite getting literally every deal with the devil ever. Like, we've had every deal with the devil on the entire game. No joke. Every single one. And we haven't seen any more guppy items. Maybe I should have taken the uh, aforementioned left hand. Because guppy items can come out of uh, red chests, basically. Is the reason that is, I think. Friends till the end. Friends till the end would have been a good one to have... Um, this, wow. But the placebo for. Because basically it would have poor man's guppy's head, right? No, we've got uh, invincibility and use it. One makes you small. I don't want that. This is worth it for the points, but not for the damage I took. In fact, what the heck? I kind of don't necessarily want HP right now because then I don't get permanent Polaroid invincibility. We'll do this sort of suite of rooms here, but. Uh, I have to imagine perhaps going to do the large room would put us a bit too far behind in terms of time. And I want to be able to make sure that... Mm, what was I just saying about time at game? I want to make sure that we have the time to get to Hush. So I want to find the boss on the next room floor. Building. Shut up. I want to be able to find the boss in time. Fuck me. I actually managed to miss... <laughs> that thing that wasn't moving. Okay, in my defence, I thought it was impossible that I could miss it. Hubris? Maybe. Took a health upgrade. Uh, what was I saying about health? Uh, I kind of don't want it. It's okay, we've still got one more deal with the devil. and It's got three guppy items on it and it's going to be amazing. Of course, now we've got Mom's knife. Guppy's not that like, great, but whatever. Here's a secret room. It has a key beggar in it. Yes, let's play the key beggar instead of getting to the fight that we need to get to. Guppy, deal with the devil. This is shit. Leave me alone. I'm going to buy it so that I can get rid of some HP. Keep going. What else have you got? Spiders. Not what I want. Keep going. Give me something that's not shit. Uh, fine. I mean, on another day, that would be great. Today, not so great. Guppy's items can come from... Uh, I think only Guppy's head can come from these golden chests, actually, so no, don't want those. Red chest, please. Uh, red, red chest, please. That's the, the red ones. Speed up. Speed oh, shit. Up. <laughs> it's going to be a problem. Okay, well, we got a, we got a fly. Oh, and now we're Beelzebub. Now we can fly again. <laughs> we got Leviathan, which I think is a transformation you get just from taking three of certain devil items. Uh, we got... Ooh, blank card, blank green. Bercano. Okay. Blank card. I got that. Blank card, Bercano. I'm going to keep blank card, blank rune because it's funny. And we get another blank rune every so often, which is really good. That was perfect. Okie dokie, then. What can blank rune do? Uh, I mean, I'm not entirely sure what the benefit could be for that. But I'm going to take it in case it does something that I genuinely didn't expect it to do. Um, blank Rune doesn't seem that valuable, all things told, because you kind of need to know what a rune is going to do before you use it. Because they're, situ they're very situationally good. If you're not in the situation where they're good, they're not good. So, having Blank Card, Blank Rune... It could give us a lot more blank rooms. I guess that's, <laughs> that's the other thing. We just keep pressing them. Uh, I keep walking into things, thinking that I've killed them. This may be a problem that I have understanding Mom's knife. Blank card, blank rooms. There you are. It gave us no thing. Okay. 
I wasn't going to play that thing because we can't really. We need 2 HP, ironically, to be able to do that. And I have ruined that for myself. Blank Hard Empress. Uh, again, I'm not suffering for damage or any of the things that Empress gives us, which is damage and speed. What I'm suffering for is the ability to use Mom's Knife and the ability to play the game, you know, decently. So apparently the boss fight was in the one direction that I decided the boss fight probably wasn't in. Very well. So be it. Pick up everything even though it does look no good. I think we're well on time. I'm not worried about missing Hush. That actually hit me. I was genuinely not expecting that to hit me. But hit me it did. Blank card. There you go. Got another blank rune though. Blank card. Algages. No, I think that was blank card, the one that shows you stuff. Answers. Uh, more red HP? More red heart drops? Not really valuable. It's, uh, Smart Fly is trying its best to keep up. Let's see if we can uh, get Mom's Knife to stay in there as long as possible. That was a really good fight. I'm a fan of that. We have been here. We should use this. It's costing us points, but okay. Blank card, blank rune, go. Yara. Now we've got three blank runes per throw. Ooh! Ha <laughs> ha That's brilliant! Now we've got contract from below, which is a very good item. Answers. Answers, which is just vision. Okay. Yeah, we are going up to Isaac and then Blue Baby, which is what I meant to say, but I'll pretend that I, you know, was, was giving you a, a full breakdown of what's going to happen rather than just saying the wrong thing. Which never happens. This isn't such a great hole. There's a lot of stuff, but none of it's extremely valuable, I have to be honest. Let's take this. Habit's pretty good, it just gives you a charge on your item whenever you get hit. Let's see what's in here though, this is the real test. Uh, neither of those is really worth it at this stage anyway. Nor is either of these. I might take butt bombs because we've got a shitload of bombs, so we're going to be using them, is what I'm thinking. And no battery charge. That's, uh, that's sad making. Hmm. What's this? One makes you small. I don't want to be small. Okay. Don't need the Bible, we can already fly. I don't think this does anything, so we'll find out. No, it has no effect. Okay then, we didn't need to pick it up, but we picked it. Anyway, let's fight Hush. The, uh, the, the ink, the succubus there is going to be a great damage to you. I feel like we should get hit, just so that we can have smart fly helping out. Small flies are going to be our friends now that we're Beelzebub. That is one of the benefits of the Beelzebub transformation. That's the, the round ones. But not these fuckers. You know, the ones you actually want to be your friend. Now we just have to not get hit 12 times. But that's not that we're going to get hit 12 times, it's that we can't get hit 12 times. Unless we... Well, I suppose that gives us three charges on Blank Rune. It's got a strong chance of giving us even more Blank Runes. Especially if it's Yera. Turns out if you Yera a Blank Rune, you get way more Blank Runes. You get two Blank Runes. If it doubles itself. It's going to use as many bombs as it takes to speed up this fight. Wow, careful. I fucking hate these things, though. They can F right off. Do so imagine that Multidimensional Baby is no use anymore. Sorry about that, Multidimensional Baby. You have been superseded. My mom's knife, which is not really an item that I'm any good with, so maybe you shouldn't have been. You were helpful, and now you're not. Are we going to get hit here? No, I think we're alright until you start shooting in this direction anyway. Yeah, like that. Get fucked. Yeah, we're okay here. Keep going. Good. What are you doing now? I don't understand. Okay. As long as we stay here, we're fine. We've got two knives getting in there because of Inky Buddy there. Are we safe here? Not sure if... Yeah, we're safe here. This is actually doing really well because Hush is basically giving us free reign to beat the shit out of it. Which is something I'm a fan of on a Hush fight because otherwise it becomes really difficult. Please. Everything's confused. Butt Bombs does that. You know. Butt Bombs being poops. Uh, in, in normal vernacular. Oh shit. Where do we stand? Here? Can we hit it? No. Here? Shit. Fine. We can hit it. We have to hold down for a long time, though. We're nearly done. We should probably just... Yeah. <laughs> just 
from the risk of getting in there. We didn't even have to deal with those beams of light bullshit. And we only got hit once and we can uh, make up for it there. That's amazing. Uh, we could have made up for it there. Even better. Uh, let's carry on. I say we got hit once. Maybe that was a big room, so we got two charges. Cathedral. Butt bombs confuse everybody because, well, whenever I let up a butt bomb, everyone gets really confused. Especially when I deny it. They're like, well, who was it? No, it's definitely Isaac. I feel like we should probably start trying to use maybe the Incubus as a sort of... Uh, this room is so bullshit. <laughs> um, uh, a little melee thing behind us? Maybe we could do this. Does this uh, damage everything? Maybe. Careful. Uh, Perfect. Well, not very, not really very good. I was hoping it would be... Is there anything that even damages enemies? Is there a... Is there a rune that can hurt things? I don't know why I'm rolling with fucking blank card... Blank rune. That was hard to say. It's hard to wrap my brain around. Blank card, blank rune. I'm doing this room in case we have to come back for it, by the way. In case you're wondering. That could be really good. I'm taking it. <laughs> Um, I was just saying, I don't know why I'm rolling blank card, blank rune, because I can't imagine it could do us any good in any situation. Let's uh, explode this son of a bitch. What have you got for me? A pill. Friends till the end. Three flies! Three large flies. Maybe we should take the eternal hearts? Shoot the loop. It's pretty good. The virus. Did, um, did our incubus just do a shoot the loop? See, I'm glad I did, because obviously <laughs> we, we did go through there several times. Shoot the is a two-room charge and does 28 times your tier damage. By the way, 26? 20-ish. Does a lot times your tier damage, which is high because we have Mom's Knife. So it's, it's really, really good. It used to be an absolute shite item. Don't take this. It's bollocks. But they buffed it in Afterbirth. And now it's actually worth taking a lot of the time. It's worth taking both late game and early game. And I think if something gets a buff that makes it that good, it's definitely worth uh, a reconsider. We'll finish this floor. We have got um, we have got X-ray specs, so we don't need to worry about whether we're finding our secret rooms or not. Everything's going nice and quickly. Now. There's one there. Just try not to take too much silly damage caused by focusing on one thing and getting hit by the other. Thank you, uh, Succubus, because I couldn't be bothered dealing with that myself. 404 is just random trinket effects. Might as well have it. Let's see what we get. Everyone likes random effects that they have no control over. It's not that, like, it's the principal thing I complain about. Whenever I play these runs, no, no, no. <laughs> Why would you say such a thing? That's very mean. I kind of want to take the HP so that I can play the Demon Judgment. Yeah, take fucking random pills in the late game. Good fucking idea, dildo. I think because we didn't do boss rush, we're going to have trouble competing. So I'll still be happy with the top 500, obviously. Because that's basically the aim of the game, top 500. That's why we play. Well, okay, I play because I was thinking, I really want to play Isaac. And then if I play and don't record, then I feel bad for playing and not recording. A little bit bad. Not like, oh my god. Everyone's going to hate me bad, but more more sort of... I may have disappointed a few people, but, you know, this is me. Deal with it. Bad. Help. Okay. I need to be able to get the knife to stay on Isaac for the maximum damage. Of course, there's two of them, so that's kind of already maximum damage. There is no overkill. Just engaging enemy and reloading. In succubus though, just bouncing around the room doing random damage to any well not random damage. It's essentially random because its path, although predictable, is uncontrollable. So it starts off random. So it ends up random. So it is doing random damage, so shut up. Blank rune, Yera. Oh fucking yes! Bring it on. Uh okay. Pyromaniac is great. Eden's blessing is a tears upgrade. Uh, <laughs> we've got Pyromaniac. And, uh, and kamikaze. This is funny enough to do, I think. <laughs> we just run around exploding everything. Oh, it's brilliant. I'm extremely happy that I went for that. Please. I know that this thing is a 
dick on these rooms because oh they've buffed it, they've changed it. Um, it's possible for it to trap you. It used to stand here, then you couldn't get past. They don't do that anymore. Of course, we get uh, double rewards whenever the rewards are stuff we can double, I guess. Uh, we didn't get double rewards when it was just a single item, but we'll get double chests. So we can just run around pressing the space bar, exploding things. That's cool. And we have uh, we have butt bombs, so it actually that's really cool that it synergizes with butt bombs. I picked up Strange Attractor as well. I didn't really mention it. Uh, the reason I picked it up is that I picked it up. Uh, the reason I didn't mention it is I didn't think it would do anything. Well, we didn't even get any points for using those, so that's bullshit. What it does is it attracts things to your. Uh, hello. What the, what the frick? Okay, that's uh, that's our 404 trinket, given as wiggle worm. Don't worry, it's not a glitch. Do not adjust your set. Um, attra strange attracted makes your tears magnetic, but since we have a knife instead of tears, it makes our knife magnetic. I feel a bit bad about shoot the loop right now. In the same way, I feel bad about not doing runs. Not really bad. Um. But when you've got Pyromaniac and Kamikaze, you have to run around pressing spacebar to kill. It's basically imperative. You become the bomb. It's what it's called. It's what you do. You just run around, you press space, everything explodes. Uh, I can't see fucking thing, and there's two of you. This is bullshit. Not in the same way that Ragman on the first floor is bullshit. It's kind of bullshit bullshit, you know what I'm saying. Careful there. You can suck your best. Number of times I mentioned Succubus. Wow. Fucking Succubus. Brilliant. It's such a good item. There's no reason not to have Succubus going on. So yeah, Strange Attractor is basically dragging the enemies into my knife whenever I fire it. Oh, I mean, what do I want these for? Yeah, thanks. Fucking dildo. Went underground when Mom was trying to stamp on it. What a dick. Not quite sure why there is a item with which mom you know, assists you. Yeah, because you're invisible, I can't see you. It's funny how that works. I'm wondering if you can get maybe a, uh, a crawl space up here, of all things. We've got huge spiders and flies now. Blank rune again. Perthrow. We can perthrow one of these things, because I didn't like them. Let's perthrow this rune. Rune? Rune. Where are you? Where's my entrance rune? I'm going to spend the time, because this is fun. I We don't often get the opportunity to play the chest. Oh, are you really going to make me re-roll everything? I'll tell you what. We'll fight our way to the boss, and then we'll re-roll our entire run. How does that sound? And then we're going to go and get blank rune as well. Okay. And I don't know what we're going to do with this. Hope it's a perfro, I guess. And then we'll try and beat the boss with whatever we end up with after we re-roll. Shit. I hate that. It's bullshit. Everything's bullshit in this game. I can't play this game without declaring that anything that hits me is bullshit. I hope that's okay. I, mean, I don't really care if it's okay or not. Um, but, I, you know, I have some respect for the people who watch my content, but not that much. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't flat yourselves. Right. Here we go. Sure, just in case we completely foul it up. But I can't imagine... Well, I can imagine. We're going to lose Mom's knife, at least. We're going to lose... Everything. <laughs> but it's going to be replaced with other stuff. We might as well take these. And then... We roll everything that we've got. Boom! We are conjoined. We have got... <laughs> what is this? Oh my goodness, a speed upgrade. Friends till the end, that's pretty good. I right, might as well take a speed up. Uh, blank rune. It could end up giving us an algae's rune on the blue baby fight, so we'll do that. I'm not going to go uh, min-maxing to get the rest of the exploration bonus on this floor, because really at this stage I just want to at least try to win. Oh my god! <laughs> so this looks like Monstro's Lung. We've got Cricket's Body, which does splash damage. We've got fucking... We've got Dead Eye, so every time we hit we get better. Okay, this is such a good run, I am actually going to do the rest of the floor. We've got Dark Bum, so we've not got so much of a problem with losing HP or anything. 
Uh, yeah, this is outrageously good. I don't know what charge shot we've got. Is it March first long? We've got fucking the, the fucking mine, so we know what we're doing. There's only one room left. Brilliant. Uh, we've got Epiphora, which I don't even know how it works in this situation. This, <laughs> oh, we've done this before. Oh. This is this is the shit you get for playing this game. Is it Monstro's Lung? Yeah, it must be, because we get a shitload of shots all at once. It's not a uh, chocolate milk is what I'm saying. Well, that was a really, really fun reroll. I'm so glad I did that. 1,206th. So I suppose if we did do boss rush, we'd have another 40... Uh, 400... Uh, 4,000 points, which would put us, you know, way up here. So obviously you, you suffer massively if you didn't do boss rush. Which is a shame, because that run ended so well. It was unbelievably good. Especially after that re-roll, which, you know, could go anyway. Uh, Jekri did okay. Yeah, pretty good. Because I found that pretty difficult to start with. So, let's get 15,000 points. Uh, that's, a, that's an impressive effort. Well, uh, thank you for watching. I, I'm a bit upset with where we came. But, at the same time, I had fun. Um, but I'd like to start getting back into the top 500 like we used to be. Uh, although, you have to go back quite a long way to have any proof of that. But anyway... Uh, I'll see you when I see you.